In MathCAD, you can use the Chart Component tool to create professional, publication-ready charts and graphs. In Part 1, we looked at setting up our chart component. In this video, we'll cover formatting. Double-click on the chart to begin formatting. In the lower right corner, use the slider to zoom in and out of the chart preview. On the left side, you have tabs. The first is for configuring the chart. You can control the chart background, chart border, plot area, and plot border. Wherever you see the eraser icon, you can clear any changes you made and restore the defaults. You can define a legend for the chart from the Legend tab. As well as a chart title, including its location, text formatting, border, and background. The second major tab is for configuring the x-axis. You can control the display of tick marks as well as tick mark values. The Grid Lines tab allows you to control both the display of grid lines, minor tick marks, and minor grid lines. You can set up the title for the x-axis along with its location, text formatting, border, and background. MathCAD provides a default range and number of steps for the display of the x-axis, but you can change these. If you don't like your changes, click the Reset button. You can display a logarithmic scale instead of a linear one. You can change the location of the x-axis from the bottom of the chart to the y equals zero location. And you can change the formatting of the number from general to decimal to scientific or percent. You also define the number of decimal places and display of trailing zeros depending on your choice. On the Y tab, you have the same four tabs as the X axis. You can change the Y axis style, grid lines, title, and setup. If your chart contains multiple traces, you will have the same options for each additional trace. You will also have a tab for each trace plotted in the chart. You can control the display of the line, its color, style, and thickness. Instead of, or in addition to displaying the line, you can show symbols for each data point. You can choose between seven different shapes. And you can fill in the area of the trace. On the Setup tab for the trace, you can toggle to a column display. The Name field controls what gets displayed in the legend. Use the X in the upper right corner to close the chart window. The chart will update on your worksheet. Now you can format your charts to look professional and publication ready. For more information, visit mathcad.com today.